Skyler, thank you. Remember Mike Woody? He's the local man that's been driving around hoping for a kidney transplant. Well, guess what? After four years, almost four years, yeah. it's happening. So exciting. KOBK's Brinshavia Jordan sat down with him and his donor who feels called to save the man's life. Woody's prayer has finally come true. He is now eight days away from getting a kidney transplant. In his match, Daniel Bloodworth says a normal day coming from the gym turned into an assignment from God he could not ignore. I see his truck and I hear two words from God that said, do it, just do it. And nothing else crossed my mind. I took a picture of a, the decal in the back. I uh, got to church and as soon as I got out of my car, I called that number. Mike Woody says there have been hundreds of calls to the number on the back of his truck. Over the years, 11 people have stepped up to offer a kidney but never followed through. But something about Bloodworth's call was different. Hey, let's go have lunch and, and visit and, you know, I'll kind of go over a few things if you have questions, whatever. And, you know, we hit it off pretty good. That was seven months ago when the friendship and kidney matching journey began. Bloodworth underwent 10 different tests, including blood samples, CAT scans, and chest x-rays to determine if he was a match. And guess what? He was. I am a little nervous. I've been reading up on it. I did hear about some people who died on the operating table, but I also looked at their success rate. And I'm really confident going in there. He says it's because of his faith. And now the countdown is on. I only have five treatments left. <laughs> five treatments left. I didn't ever think I would say that. I'm five treatments from being in a divorce with that machine, you know. We're getting a divorce, man. I'm, I'm done. I am done. Woody says he plans to keep the number on the back of the truck to help someone else. The transplant surgery is set for March 2nd in San Antonio. Bloodworth started a GoFundMe to help pay for the expenses, and it's very close to the $3,000 goal. If you would like to make a donation, visit the link over on everythinglubbock.com.